so I decided to drop in and give you all a life update I so I know y'all probably wondering where I've been the last video y'all seen was I was doing vlogmas and then I suddenly stopped well what happened was I had COVID got a really bad case of COVID Things I've learned about trying to better COVID. Lay on your stomach. I feel better when I lay on my stomach. Number two. If you don't have COVID, never had COVID, eat healthy. Start today. Get in shape. Number three. Wear a mask. Number four. If you have symptoms, stay away from people. Don't even trust people that you think that are your friends. You don't know who your friends have been around. Um, it was early December, like December 7th. At the time I got COVID, the hospitals were overpopulated. They were out of beds and I had a really bad case. And so I'm just going to answer some of the biggest questions that I've gotten about COVID. Did I really have COVID? Am I just saying I had COVID or did I test positive for COVID? Yes, I test positive for COVID. People be like, well, why wouldn't you marry your mask? Is that another? Yes, I was wearing my mask because a lot of y'all know I do home health or whatever. But how we got COVID was from a person that didn't wear masks, sit down and have lunch with somebody that didn't tell us that they had symptoms, had the symptoms, gave it to my husband. He gave it to me. Boom, bada bing. I had COVID. Yes, I tested positive. I do have my my positive test if you don't believe me because people be like a lot of people swear they had COVID and they didn't have COVID they didn't even have no positive test okay I did I do have a positive test I did officially have COVID anyway and like I said it was a severe case my doctor wanted me to be hospitalized but um they had no beds she had to heavily treat me from home with lots of antibiotics and then the next thing people would say oh you should have took ginger this that and other um home remedies made me worse the reason home remedies made me worse was because COVID messes up different parts of your body. COVID can mess up your heart your lungs your digest your digestive system your kidneys anything well it messed up my digestive system and my lungs i am still even though i had it back in december of 2020 have an issue with my lungs and i'm taking medicine to this day for it i am also having to go to digestive health now because it did mess up my digestive system taking all those home remedies made me sicker i got so sick from trying home remedies everything from sea moss to drinking ginger this this that and the other i didn't get my smell and taste back until um let me go over here to my instagram and see exactly when it was i started getting my um smell and taste back and i will drop it in and let you know exactly when when all that burnt orange stuff it did not work none of that worked i ended up getting my smell and taste back by accident and what i mean by accident is as y'all know i have severe back issues and when they were treating my back issues i had to go on prolonged steroids it was the steroids that they were giving me for my back that helped me get my smell and taste back boom i got it back by accident thank you for the steroids so then the doctors learned because they don't give you a lot of medicine for covid but then they learned the prolonged treatment for something else you know help me get my smell and taste back which thus they noted okay so they not treating it certain things long enough so boom and then my doctors personally learned that um treating it before it becomes severe death pneumonia saves you because that's what my doctor did so when she knew out of the gate because she had just lost her parent from covid how to treat me so she immediately attacked it which saved me so she hurried up she reversed my pneumonia which was like bad by the time um because they really 
the doctors I went to really wasn't giving me anything because my fever was like low grade but then overnight my fever jumped to 103 and I had that fever for like um I can't remember how many days I would have to go I have a like COVID vlog like I was vlogging each day of my COVID because I was up moving around I just felt really bad and a lot of y'all by now have had COVID, so y'all know what I mean when I say I just felt really bad. I mean, but I refuse to lay down and die, too. I'm not one of those people that's just going to stay in the bed. And, and, and that's what kill a lot of people is the bed. And I learned that in home health. And so I contribute a lot to me being a lifeguard and um, C and A training and stuff. I knew not to just lay on my back and die. You cannot lay on your back when you have COVID. You have to lay on your stomach. And I thank the God for my training and my kids grew up with severe asthma so I knew not to be on my back and those are the things that saved me and then two I had antibiotics left over that the doctor had gave me because my dad had no immune system when he had cancer as y'all know he he died back in September 2020 I already had to wear a mask before any of COVID happened because a person with cancer that goes through chemotherapy has no immune system so I was already having to wear a mask to protect him so wearing a mask wasn't new for me wearing a mask is not new for people with cancer so it was no problem and no issue for me to wear a mask so I still wear a mask to today no god y'all can play if y'all want to I don't want it again once was enough and I and I am fully vaccinated I believe in getting vaccinated I don't think it should be mand mandatory and mandated to be vaccinated it should be a person's choice but I ha however am fully vaccinated anyway so that's my life update and that's something I still been dealing with so if y'all hear me breathing funny or I'll suddenly stop talking because I have to breathe for a minute that's why because that's something new and that's different that I've had to adjust to. I have been going through trying to adjust how to go about daily life with the breathing issue because the breathing issue is new for me. So they they categorize it under asthma, but technically it's like not asthma. Well, they treat it with asthma medicine because you just can't breathe. Not breathing is not breathing. I don't know what else you want to call it, but that's what they categorize it under. And that's the kind of doctor that you have to see. I see a pump pulmonary doctor pomologist is that how you say it or whatever but anyway that's my life update as i learn new things that i'm able to teach you all new things i am a old school mississippi girl and i will teach y'all the old school way of living and the old school way of life as i go along my day-to-day -day travels skincare weight loss workouts watching tv diys cooking whatever it is i'm doing and whatever it is i learned new y'all know i got a hundred certifications i got like three associate degrees but i have a boatload of certifications to help people do stuff and i hope along the way i along the way i'm able to help you learn something new or i'm able to help you be happy in life and find yourself while i find myself in any way possible so get ready because the things that stopped me from being consistent here before are not, I don't have those barriers before. As soon as I started this channel, my dad was got sick and he couldn't walk and I was sent about him. He was later diagnosed with cancer and I spent those three years sent about him. Then after that, I went into working the home health full time and you know in that job oh we got to get into it about my job y'all so much has changed my career my job tried to finesse me when i got sick with covid because i was supposed to be out from september to january 2020 for you know like a break to grieve my dad they didn't let me off i was still working and then when i filed for unemployment they tried to say i was on a leave and would give it to me but i never took a leave because y'all know i kept working so if you was on my if you on my facebook or my instagram follow me on instagram because instagram i always see it first then y'all know i was still working and they tried to finesse me and tell the unemployment people that i wasn't working when i was a working so during the time of covid when i couldn't work they tried to say that i was on the leave so they didn't have to pay try to finesse me for that ten dollars an hour and so then now you can get a job at chick-fil-a uh mcdonald's anywhere making more than ten dollars an hour for, for what we be doing for pca work 
I have not quit that job. They just not giving me enough to sustain a living right now. Like working 10 to 12 hours a week for $10 an hour is not enough to sustain a living. So I have been doing other means for, for income and something new. My husband, he quit his job. When I when we got sick with COVID, my husband was done with it. He quit his job. He started a new career. And I'm going to bring y'all along for the ride. So come on. Everything in my life has changed. Everything is different. Also, while I was gone, I have a new granddaughter. Y'all, a new granddaughter. That's something else that ha happened while I was away. So much has happened. Y'all got to hit that subscribe button. And y'all, I've been binge watching TV. Your girl finally got to see um, Bridgerton. I finally watched the one. Um, what's the one y'all was telling me to watch? Down in the summer where the girls get naked. What's the name of it? Leave it in the description before. Would they be down to the paint? Uh... I finally got to watch that. I'm catching up on Power. I'm almost through catching up on Power. I got, oh my God, we got so many shows to talk about. As uh, Oh, and I got to fill y'all in on my weight loss because y'all know I lost weight when I had COVID. Then they put me on the steroids. I gained it back. Your girl just lost 15 pounds. I got to fill y'all in on it. We got so much to talk about from weight loss. Oh my God. Y'all got to hit the subscribe button. We got, oh my goodness.